Get started? All right. Um, it's like um, here going to show you the new CryEngine 2. We have uh, increased tremendously the fuel distance, whereas we had before like just maybe one kilometer or so, but now we can make it up to 60 kilometer fuel distance. And resulting in this, we had to change our entire environment system. Now we have uh, 3D clouds. You can really fly into them, and they will move in the sky and have a look like this. Also, we need to, to improve uh, the uh, time of day. We call it the time of day lighting system. So the uh, sun position, everything changes uh, based on um, predefined values. Um, let me show you this. It's like uh, it's getting night. Those stars are calculated uh, on based on really on the real world stars. It's not a texture map and stuff like this. You can really zoom into them and uh, see them glittering. So, resulting with the system, we have to change obviously from a dynamic. You have to change to a dynamic shadowing system, so if you look at the shadows, they get updated in real time, and there's no baked in stuff anymore, it's all, you know, all changing, and they are soft shadows, so obviously, have a look, um, maybe here, so pretty detailed. We, ha we had it to be this way because of our destructible environments. We plan to have almost everything destroyable, but let me show you this. I jump on. The shadow will update. Yeah. So pretty, pretty amazing. I make a little presentation how to build a little forest and uh, basically how to populate it. It's like, uh, first of all, you need to make the base, the base color, and the base, the base color also distributes little stuff. So if you paint uh, grass, it will distribute grass. So the vegetation system is really helps you when building it. Let's place the actual trees. And then you can arrange them, obviously, and stuff like this. So you can rotate them, shrink them, however you want to have it. Right. Um, the same thing with the AI. You, you put in characters, AI enemies. Um, you can immediately basically play a little setup here. So. Okay. My little forest fight is over now. <laughs> yeah. The same thing for, um, let's say, kind of vehicles. Um, I let you first build a nice um, road. The road creation tools got implemented. Now it's easy to um, easy to, to draw the roads on the terrain where you wanted to have them. And implemented this nice function that you can, you don't have to flatten the roads on your own, you simply press one button, it's like align to height map, and it makes them flat, so you don't need to worry about that. So, and then again, you can jump into it and um, basically see how your little section is playing. Oh, it's finding me well. Ah. As I showed earlier here, uh, we got now voxel terrain editing. With the voxels, um, they are not like ordinary height map that goes up and down. It's you can create overhangs and cliffs and uh, and caves like this. It's like pretty. Let me go into. 
bikes again. Pretty, pretty easy to to dig into terrain like a hole. Create some stuff. Yeah. Now, let's. Sh let me show you a little bit about uh, man-made structures creation. Um, our approach to this is like um, Lego blocks, more or less. We build certain elements uh, in 3D Studio Max or Maya and then import it in here. And then the designers can basically place them, you know, I want to one, two, three, four of those types. And as you can see, we don't need to worry about shadows. These are all done in real time. And we also don't need any more about creating portals because the um, blocks automatically call the environment that you're behind. So it's a much, it's a big time saver. Nobody needs to zone this up. It's automatically in good performance, I would call it. Yeah. And another benefit, of course, of the lighting system is that none of the shadows are you need to calculate. They are all real-time lighting, and uh, especially all the corners. All this is no shadow maps. It's all calculated in real time. So, <laughs> now, so I can show more technical things you know how to set up uh, yeah, game logic and stuff like this, but maybe it might not show good on the video. But uh, yeah, maybe I show a little bit uh, material editor. This is also quite stuff here. Example, here we get the integrated material editor. You can change, obviously, the textures and stuff like this. But what's really amazing is the uh, uh, changing of shaders in real time. For example, let me adjust the height here of the waves, and uh, you can you can fine tune how the reflection looks like here on the water. And really, on every character, you can create the details in real time here, and don't have to wait or ask somebody to write special shaders because the shaders. Uh, adjustable here in real time. I would say that's basically covers it. Um, like that. Yeah. All right. <laughs>